All right, guys, so we are inside the beautiful world of Blender 3D. And here we're going to be creating that amazing uh, Rubik's Cube uh, scene, which you saw in the intro. So yeah, let's uh, begin. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to be starting with the default cube. So we're not going to be deleting it. Uh, so I'm just going to delete the default light and the default camera. By the way, just save your project. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be uh, using this cube. And we're going to be beveling this first of all. So let's bevel it a little bit. So we're going to be adding a modifier. We're going to go to the modifier menu and we're going to be adding a modifier, which is going to be the bevel modifier. Now we could obviously use a subdivision surface for this as well, or we could um, alternatively, if I just remove this, we could go into edit mode and we could like go to edit select mode. We could select, press A to select all, and then we could press control B to bevel this. And yeah, that would work definitely. Uh, by the way, when you're doing this, when you're um, beveling this, you can use your mouse uh, scroll. Uh, you can scroll up to add more segments, right? That's just an extra tip that you I'm going to give you. So I'm just going to undo that. Uh, by the way, the reason why, no, why we're not doing that is because that is destructive. And once you do it, uh, you cannot actually go back and you cannot actually change your uh, bevel value. So uh, on the other hand, this um, modifier, if I go to my add modifier and bevel modifier, you're going to see that we can uh, change the amount and we can change the number of segments whenever we want so yeah that is something we want and i'm going to go with that so i'm just going to add a bevel of let's say 0 0.06 meters something like that should be good for now however we can obviously go ahead and uh, make adjustments later on if you like it so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be um, pressing g to move and pressing y to lock it to y-axis and then i'm going to be holding control so that we are actually um what do you call it we are um snapping basically onto the grid right so i'm going to be doing it again gy and let's just snap it right there okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be duplicating this so i'm going to press shift d and press y to uh, lock it to y axis and then hold control of course so that we're also snapping again and the distance between them is going to be zero so basically they're going to be flushed together that is exactly what you want and then i'm going to be duplicating this once again shift d y and hold control and then duplicate it like that. Perfect. So now we have this ready. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to my top view and I'm going to be selecting all these and then I'm going to be pressing shift D again. And this time I'm going to press X to lock it to X axis and obviously control to uh, snap my movements, something like that. And with this selected, I'm going to duplicate this once again. So uh, G, oops, not G, shift D and X and control of course. So that is perfect. And after that, I'm going to select all this and we're going to be going to my, I'm going to go to my front view and I'm going to be pressing shift D again. This time I'm going to press Z because we are going up and just something like that should be good. And once again, finally, and we have our cube ready. So this is your Rubik's cube guys. And we have finally completed it. So uh, your mod most of your modeling is basically done by now. But obviously, we are going to be doing uh, some extra stuff as well. We are going to be adding uh, the colors and everything, right? So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to be adding those uh, uh, color stickers on which we're going to have those colors. So I'm just going to be adding a mesh, which is going to be a plane. So this plane is going to come there. I'm just going to go to my front view. Uh, so we can just rotate it uh, 90 degrees in the Y axis. So I'm going to press R, Y, and then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees in the Y axis. You can obviously, alternatively, if I undo that, uh, you can obviously press R, Y, and then you can use this, um, uh, your mouse to do that. And you can obviously hold control and then rotate it 90 degrees exactly uh, by looking at the top left hand corner. You're going to see that it says rotation 90.00. That, that is um, exactly 90 degrees. So you can do that as well. But I prefer uh, R, Z, uh, R, Y, and 90. That is just much easier. So then I'm going to be pressing G and I'm going to be moving it somewhere there. Something like that, let's scale it down. I think something like that should be good. Let's go to the front view and let's uh, align it, something like that. Let's just move it up a little. That should be good. Let's make sure that it's actually flushed with our, um, although we are gonna be adding a uh, bevel modifier, oh, sorry, not a bevel modifier, a solidif solidify modifier, which is gonna give it some thickness. And that is perfect. Okay, so right now it's way too sharp. So we're going to be, uh, of course, beveling it again. And if I just go ahead and add a modifier, the bevel modifier, you're going to see that nothing is actually going to happen. 
So if I press this uh, word, word sees option, then it's gonna actually start uh, beveling it, right? So you can do that. Alternatively, you can, uh, if you're using that method, if I go into edit mode, you can go to your word see select mode and if you do control uh, B, you can see that nothing is actually gonna happen. So, so to uh, uh, basically bevel vertices, you can hold, uh, press control, shift and B, and then you're gonna see that it's gonna create new points and it's gonna do your job. So that is uh, another option you you have. But obviously I'm just gonna be using the bevel modifier. So vertices, amount should be a little higher. Segment should be of course plenty. I guess eight should be nice. Okay, so one thing which I'm realizing is that our cube is way too sharp and we should add more um, uh, uh, more rounding, more beveling to it. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be uh, beveling it more. So let's just like one. Let's increase the amount to like, I guess 0 0.15, something like that. Yeah, something like that should be good. Maybe a little higher. Yeah, 0 0.017 should be, uh, 0 0.17 should be the sweet spot. So that is, um, yeah, by the way, just save your project. And obviously then we're gonna be reducing the size of this as well. Something like that. Something like that should be good. Yeah, perfect. That should be perfect, cool. So now uh, to actually, uh, actually to, um, what do you call it? To copy this um, setting, this modifier setting to all other cubes as well, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be using, uh, either you, you obviously have two options, either you can just go into individually, uh, into all these and just enter the value. And yes, that is gonna work. However, I'm gonna be showing you a shorter way. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be selecting all those blocks in uh, our cube. So what I'm gonna do for that is, is that I can just go to this cube and I'm just gonna select all of them, cube uh, one to cube 26. And then I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna click on this one, right? So we're, the last one we've selected is this one, right? Now I'm gonna press control L and you can just link stuff. So I'm gonna press copy modifiers and I'm gonna see all of them are gonna have that same exact setting. So that is a very um, uh, good tip for you guys. So now with this, we can obviously just uh, do the same exact thing and press shift D and just copy them over. However, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be using something called a mirror modifier. So that's just gonna make our, st uh, make our job a little bit easier. So yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is that first of all, let me just, uh, adjust this let me just reduce the bevel the amount of bevel something like that should be good yeah that should probably be good maybe a little higher now obviously this is just personal preference yeah i think that should be good now let's add another modifier which is going to be the solidify modifier which is going to give it some thickness so if i go to my side view you're going to see that this now has this its own thickness if i increase the amount a little bit so that it's actually going inside the cube yeah that is perfect and yeah i think that should be good all right so next up we can just use our um uh mirror modifier so i'm just gonna select this one i'm gonna go to add modifier and we're gonna be adding a mirror modifier so now the mirror modifier is gonna ask us for a mirror object and this mirror object can be, uh, for example, this cube right here, okay? Because it's halfway between uh, the other object as well, right? So one's gonna be here and the other one's gonna be uh, one's gonna be mirrored here. So we can just set the mirror object to this. So I'm just gonna set the mirror object to this. And you're gonna see that it's, it's automatically gonna appear. And if I turn on the Y, actually, never mind, I'm not gonna turn on the Y or the Z. X should be good. Now with this selected, we can just duplicate it, Shift D, and we can just move it over. And I'm gonna see that our work is basically uh, reduced by a factor of two. It's been halved because, um, one second. Yeah, because uh, we, we're not gonna have to do it for both sides. We're just gonna have to do it from one side and the other side is automatically gonna be done for us. So yeah, uh, and again, once again, shift D, Y, and I'm gonna be duplicating right like that. Perfect, cool. So next up, uh, let me just select all these and let me just uh, press shift D and Z and move it down. Something like that should be good. And once again, Shift D and Z and move it down like that. Perfect. So now this side, this side and this side is totally complete. And what we can do now is that we can, um, yeah, so what we can do now is that we can just uh, select one and we can Shift D, press Shift D. And let's, um, let's right click to reset the position. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna to go to my top view and I'm gonna be rotating this exactly 90 degrees, something like that. And then I'm gonna be moving it over here so that we can start working on this side now. And this is gonna be a little out. It looks a little 
to out so I'm just gonna push it in a little bit something like that might be good yeah that seems to be uniform perfect so that is yeah the position of that is also fine now you're gonna see that this mirror modifier is already working on this side as well so I'm just gonna let that work or rather what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be changing the mirror object to this cube right here uh, so that it's mirroring on this side and yeah that's gonna make our lives easier so I'm just gonna set the mirror object to this object right here and it's gonna be if I turn on the Y and if I turn off the X you're gonna see that we, we are seeing this object being mirrored right here and now I'm gonna uh, duplicate this again shift D this time X perfect and oops never mind uh, select this shift D and X again cool so now you're gonna see that the top row is done let's do the other rows as well select all these shift D Z and move them down once again perfect so all our sides are done but the top and bottom are remaining okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna I'm just gonna select one random one of these and I'm gonna be moving it up shift D and move it up in the Z axis of course and then we're gonna be rotating it in the X axis not in the X axis never mind we're gonna be rotating them in the Y axis 90 degrees so that it's, so that it's flat and now let's move it down something like that should be good And let's go to my top view let's move it in the x-axis like that and let's change our mirror object this time to be uh, this right here because we wanted to mirror on the y-axis uh, not in the y-axis never mind in the x-axis and it's gonna just mirror on top of that right so uh, oops I am turn I turn upside down for some reason uh, so I'm just gonna go to my top view shift D X and let's just do that same exact thing with this again. Oops. Perfect. Select all these. Oops, not that. Select all these. Shift D uh, Y and perfect. Shift D Y and move it down. And now all our um all of our colors are being added. All our labels are added. So I'm just gonna move these slightly to the left because I don't I don't think they're centered yeah now they are okay perfect so now our cube is basically ready the modeling part is complete and let's move on to adding textures and yeah so I'll see you then